the moon, the only natural satellite of Earth, and the site of humanity's first footsteps beyond our planet. But over 50 years after American astronauts left its dusty surface, a new contender has emerged with bold and ambitious missions never before seen, China. China is not merely exploring the moon for scientific understanding. They are laying the foundation for a long-term strategy, one that could shift the balance of power in the space race. This new race is not just about exploration, but also showcases each country's technological prowess and status. More than ever, China is demonstrating that it is ready to challenge the United States' dominance in space. China's space program, named Chang'e after the moon goddess in Chinese mythology, began in 2004. With rapid investment and development, the Chang'e program has positioned China as the third space superpower capable of sending exploratory missions to the moon. Yet their ambitions go beyond that. They want to achieve more, go farther, and assert that the moon is not just a stopping point, but a new frontier for research, resource extraction, and establishing a foundation for future missions beyond the solar system. In 2013, China captured global attention when its Chang'e 3 probe successfully landed on the moon, marking the first time in decades since the Soviet era that a country other than the U.S. had accomplished a soft landing on the moon. With Chang'e 3, China officially joined the ranks of nations with the capability to explore and set foot on extraterrestrial lands. But this was only the beginning. China's plan is not just to stop at landing. In 2018, they advanced the Chang'e program with the Chang'e 4 mission, a groundbreaking, unprecedented mission in lunar exploration. Chang'e 4 became the first probe in history to successfully land on the far side of the moon, the side that never faces Earth. This area receives no signals from Earth, making it a mystery zone that no one had previously explored. To accomplish this challenging mission, China had to deploy a relay satellite in a special position to transmit signals from the moon's far side back to Earth. This was a major technological advancement, proving that China not only has the capability to send missions to the moon, but also the ability to coordinate and control signals in complex deep space missions. The success of Chang'e 4 opened the door for China to explore territories that the U.S. and other nations had never reached, marking a new turning point in the space race. Why is exploring the far side of the moon so significant? This side of the moon never faces Earth due to tidal locking, meaning it lies out of view and beyond the reach of conventional signals from Earth. This makes it an entirely new area where scientists believe there may be mineral deposits and geological structures not found on the near side of the moon. The Chang'e 4 mission also brought an unprecedented surprise, a miniature ecosystem. China carried seeds, fruit fly eggs, soil, and air with the goal of testing whether life could grow in the moon's harsh conditions. The results were astounding. Some seeds sprouted, marking the first time in history that life had grown outside our planet. This event carries significance far beyond science. It not only opens up the possibility of self-sustaining food supplies in space, but also demonstrates that, with careful planning and effort, humans can create self-sustaining ecosystems, an essential component of future space bases. Imagine, with this progress, China could pave the way for a future where humans live long-term on the moon, a dream that NASA scientists also hope to realize. But China has taken a step ahead, bringing this vision closer to reality. China didn't stop there. They continued to scale up with the Chang'e 5 mission in 2020. This was the first mission in nearly 50 years to bring lunar samples back to Earth. These rock samples are of immense scientific value, helping scientists study the moon's geological history and potential for resource extraction in the future. Initial analyses have revealed some previously undiscovered minerals. Certain elements, like ilmenite, a titanium-bearing mineral, hold promise for applications in manufacturing and industry. These samples also provide data on the moon's development, bringing China closer to the prospect of space resource mining. With its head start in sample collection and analysis, China may seize the opportunity to lead in the space mining industry, challenging the U.S.'s traditional dominance. These samples are not only scientifically significant, but could unlock vast economic potential, 
a race the U.S. cannot ignore. China's goals go beyond exploration. They plan to build a long-term research station on the moon. And this is not just a scientific endeavor, but a strategy to establish a robust space infrastructure. Announced in 2019, this plan opens the door to collaboration with other countries. In reality, however, this could signal that China is building an independent foothold in space, free from reliance on the U.S. or any other country. This research station would not only facilitate long-term experiments, but could also serve as a waypoint for future missions to Mars and more distant celestial bodies. The U.S. pursues a similar strategy through the Artemis Accords, but China's advancements may prompt the U.S. to accelerate its own efforts to maintain its position. Why has the moon become a strategic target in the space race? Because it holds valuable potential resources. The ice at the moon's poles can be split into oxygen and hydrogen to create rocket fuel, supply water for space bases, and even support missions further into space. Additionally, helium-3, a rare clean energy source on Earth, could power nuclear reactors with enormous potential applications. This is a crucial factor in the race to control space. Accessing helium-3 means holding the key to future energy power. By gaining access to this precious resource, China could not only create a scientific edge, but also strengthen its economic and political power. China's ambitions extend beyond the moon. They are targeting more distant planets, from Mars to Jupiter, and even asteroids. China's long-term plan is to establish space supply chains, creating transfer stations, and mining resources along the solar system. With a solid strategy, China is increasingly challenging the U.S. lead in space. In response, the U.S. is ramping up its efforts with the Artemis Accords and international alliances to avoid falling behind. But the question remains, can the U.S. maintain its advantage as China advances rapidly? The race to the moon has become an intense competition for space supremacy. If China succeeds, they could not only surpass the U.S., but potentially create a new order in space, with influence spanning both science and politics. Will we witness cooperation or confrontation in space? And can the U.S. maintain its lead? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments and hit subscribe so you won't miss more stories on this dramatic space race.